MCU. Seven behind the scenes facts about Calvin Feige's time at Marvel Studios. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Sprinter. Seven. Even he gets Tarstruck. Feige has been in the industry for decades, and while his profile rose exponentially thanks to being the brains behind the MCU, he was also behind X-Men, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy, and even the Fantastic Four movies. With all that time spent on set, it's hard to believe that a producer like Feige would get starstruck, and while it doesn't happen often, it does happen. When on the set of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings meeting Tony Leung left Kevin Feige completely speechless, the producer said at the celebrated Hong Kong Actor. I've been around a lot of movie stars and a lot of living legends, but I was nearly speechless when I met him briefly on the set because he seems like such an otherworldly star directly from the sky. Number 6. He learned a lot from Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy. Feige produced all three Spider-Man movies directed by Sam Raimi, and he apparently did a lot more watching and learned than handing out studio notes. The producer learned a lot from Raimi, explaining, I watch and learn from a group of people that were trying to exceed expectations and trying to fulfill their own childhood dreams and childhood dreams of fans of the characters. Raimi has spoken at length about his favorite comic books and superheroes, so it hardly comes as a surprise that that he wanted to go above and beyond when making each Spider-Man movie, and Feige has clearly taken all of that on board and applies it to every film he produces. Each MCU entry is full of sequences taken right out of the pages of the comic books, and all of the outfits are sometimes unapologetically faithful to the source material. 5. He made a last-minute change to Doctor Strange 2 While Feige clearly has the utmost respect for Raimi, he still made a last-minute change to Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which was also directed by the evil dead filmmaker. One of the most difficult fight scenes to pull off was the fight between Strange and a variant of himself when they're throwing musical notes at each other. According to comic book resources Danny Elfman mentioned, that the scene included an amalgam of classical pieces, but Feige recommended changing it. The composer explained, then in the very 59th minute of the 11th hour at the very end, Kevin Feige jumped in and said to just simplify it to be Hoven versus back. Four, he always has Star Wars on his mind. While Marvel is Feige's bread and butter, he often finds his mind drifting off into a galaxy far, far away. The super producer admitted that he is always thinking about Star Wars, and though he's producing a Star Wars movie, he explained, if I wasn't being paid to do it, I would be doing it here in my basement just with my toys, and nobody would ever see it. It's what I think about all the time. There is very little anybody knows about Kevin Feige's very secretive Star Wars movie, but there are a few details that will come as a relief. For starters, Han Solo won't be in the movie, and what's more of a sigh of relief is that it won't be another sequel. 3. He says he owes his success to Richard Donner Celebrated director Richard Donner passed away in 2021, and after working for him for several years, Feige tweeted a tearful eulogy to the filmmaker. Donner directed so many classics including The Goonies, Scrooge, and Lethal Weapon, but the movie that Feige was clearly influenced by the most was 1978 Superman. Feige tweeted that Superman director taught him that these characters could be brought to life on the big screen with heart, humor, humanity, and verisimilitude. In 2018, Feige even advised Warner Brothers to rewatch Superman when the studio was going through several internal changes, so he clearly mustn't be a fan of the DCU's darker tone. Two, he was more excited by WandaVision than any other project. When Paul Bettany was promoting WandaVision, he explained, I think I can guarantee a few things. I think we took an enormous swing. I think it's gonna pay off. I've never seen Kevin Feige more giddy and excited. Given out so much has happened in the MCU over 14 years, including a countless number of heroes facing off against Thanos, Bettany could be making exaggerating and saying it's the most excited Feige has ever been. However, there could be some truth to it, as WandaVision is easily the most unique MCU entry as it's influenced by different era sitcoms, and it goes full hocus pocus too. Few movies or shows are like WandaVision whether it's in the superhero genre or not. Number 1. He intends on being hands-off with a Fantastic Four movie. 
According to Den of Geek, Feige is intending to have a more hands-off approach within the upcoming Fantastic Four. While it could be cause for given that the MCU has been so successful because of the fact that Feige is so hands-on, it's based on this experience on Doctor Strange 2. This is apparently based on the fact that he was able to be less hands-on with Doctor Strange 2 by trusting Raimi, and he very much wants to have the same experience with the Fantastic Four. However, it might be a tougher job than Feige expected as Marvel still has yet to find a new director to replace John Watts. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.